When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? $1,830, Johnny? No. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Great idea, but only if it's cheap. Half mm. price. Cheap. 600 bucks for a mistake? Well, that's a lot of money for a mistake. When you do the math, I can't that hear has got to be at least at we all know I don't do the math. Difference. But it's not about the budget. Like... <laughs> Since when has it not been about the budget? Weddings are a bribe that's pretty. Weddings are getting out of the city. Weddings are facing the financial nitty gritty. Meet newlyweds Judy and Johnny. Their wedding planning was a rough and tumble trip filled with many financial pitfalls to avoid. So let's catch up with them and find out just what it took to make their dream day a success. My name is Judy, I'm a 28-year-old consultant. I met Johnny, a radio personality, while I was bartending. We flirted for a couple of months, and that was it. We were hooked. This is the story of how we proved that good times should always prevail on the way to the altar. My wedding day was fantastic. It was just easy and relaxed, no stresses, and I couldn't have asked for anything more. My wedding day was about the same. It was friends, it was family, it was like a big house party. Well, the day may have been without stress, but getting there wasn't without its traumas. So let's turn back the clock and see what really happened. I wanted a wedding planner to have someone on my side, to help me out when Johnny had some of his harebrained ideas, to, to back me up. I wanted a wedding planner for the actual day of the wedding. I know I'm not a superhero. I needed somebody running the show on the day. Meet Heidi Allen. Would her eight years of experience as a wedding planner be enough to make her the superhero Judy and Johnny needed to pull their day together? Your wedding, the more the Heidi, merrier. Heidi. I mean, this is fabulous, but Heidi. I'm just a little concerned that at the end of the day, today. you're getting a really big <laughs> bell. Guess what word we're not using today? budget. My role as a wedding planner is to let a couple, even if they want a non-traditional wedding, make it non-traditional for them. Don't force them into the traditional formal roles. Give them exactly what they want. Walk me through how you see your wedding. A non-traditional barbecue, gonna have a great time, just party. Yeah, not a regular wedding almost like an anti-wedding. We want a little bit of formality so that everybody knows it's still wedding and there's certain mm -hmm. things you have to do. Yeah. But the whole very uptight princess, you know, oh, this is gonna be dream and unicorns and all that crap, mm -hmm. no, gone. None of that. What is your guest count? We wanted to go 150. Okay, um, nice size. So far we're at 175, but we're hoping people say no. Okay, so you are definitely inviting 175. Do you think we could trim this? 175 invites or? have gone out, and that was trimmed. Yeah, so that's like are. people aren't allowed to take dates. Who's paying for this? We are. We are. Just the two of you. Just the two. So of you us. have no financial assistance whatsoever from your parents. No. no. Now, where are we having this wedding? Is it at a church? Are we at a hotel? Like, where are we doing the actual wedding ceremony and the reception? It's actually at a conservation area. It has a chapel on one side, a driveway, and then a barn. And then that's where we're having both. So everything is Beautiful. in one location. So what type of food are you thinking of doing then? Southern hospitality, soul food. So pulled pork sandwiches, half chickens on a wow. barbecue, cornbread. Soul food, I love it. I mm -hmm. want to bring it up to a little bit more elegance by pairing it with wine. We have a lot of wineries. <gasps> We have wow. a lot of wineries that are around the mm -hmm. area where we live in the nice. reception area. So oh. just to... Oh, that would cost okay. so much money. Okay. I just feel like with it being a barbecue, it would be just going and grabbing a beer. I understand where you're coming from. I mean, who doesn't love barbecue and beer? But the fact that this is a wedding, you know, it, it is kind of taking it to that next level. It's giving it a little bit of formality for your wedding day. Why don't we actually go to a vineyard and taste some different wines with some of the food from the caterer? And at that time, you can make a decision. Instead of just going, no, I want beer, and that's it. I guess. Johnny and I are definitely not on the same page with budget. I 
know what we have to pay. I know what our bills are each month, and we just can't have an extravagant wedding. He seems to think we can. Judy will probably be the cheapest bride that anyone will meet. She wants the big fun wedding, but she wants to do it on a dollar store budget. I want to talk about your attire. I don't really want to wear a tux. Uh, my background is Scottish. I would love mm -hmm. to wear my family tartan. Mm -hmm. So I've put out some feelers to kilt shops and Scottish shops to do some research on finding my family target. Beautiful. But only if it's affordable. Like, if it's really expensive, I understand that you love the idea, but I just... Not if it... Only if it's affordable. If it's expensive, then we just... Not have a problem. problem. If it's within our budget, yeah, then we'll make it happen. Or under. Or under. This is what I've been dealing with for the past couple of months. We bring in something cool, an idea in, only if it's really cheap. Under budget. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Great idea, but only if it's cheap. Mm -hmm. Cheap. Well, I think not want to say cheap. I think that you should say... No, I'm not... Conscience. Say... Conscious. No. Conscious. Budget. Budget. Conscience. Yes. I think I have your vision. You want a non-traditional wedding. We're having it in a barn ceremony, same location. We want soul food. Okay, if I'm gonna help you plan this wedding, I need to see that budget. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Okay, guys, you wanted a non-traditional wedding. We're gonna have to do it on a non-traditional budget. Coming up. Your family tartan that I've never heard you talk about until we started talking about marriage. $1,830 is not bad. Wedding dresses go for like five grand. I had my own tux, uh, from, uh, which I bought when we were dating. But I did rent uh, a tie, a vest, and a little handkerchief poof. And I rented shoes uh, just because I have uh, small feet and... <laughs> And basically, let's just say this, I could shop in the kids' section if I really wanted to. When it comes to putting together your big day, it's always a matter of finding the balance between ideas and price. We bring in something cool, an idea in, mm -hmm. only if it's really cheap. Under budget. Mm -hmm. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Great idea, but only if it's cheap. Mm -hmm. Half price. Cheap. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on whether Johnny felt cut off by Judy's desire to keep within their budget. When we were going to decide what we were going to do for decor, we had to bring some extra help. So my mom came down, and Andrea came out, and we all met with Heidi and the decor lady so we could kind of pick out what we wanted the barn to look like. Hi, Joanne. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? This looks great. Good, I'm glad you like it. Wow, the display is nice. Look at the sashes. Yeah, sashes. And is this the red you guys were thinking of? Yeah, that red, not this red. I didn't think you liked anything in the red, Judy. Bows? This isn't us. In fact, let's... Um, you want to see it without the sash? Yeah. I don't really want them. Okay, well, fine. All right. Sash, no sashes then. I mean, you know, I... We got chair covers, though. What's underneath them? Oh, no. No. Judy. Judy. Oh, I... It's a lawn chair. Oh, we'll put that back. That's uh, <laughs> good. Hooray. We got the overlays. No. I think that the overlay would come off, too. And then just have the black chair covers. You're, like, taking all this stuff off. We don't really even... Like, is it because of you're worried how much it's going to cost? I'm not talking about cost. I'm saying I don't really feel the need for the overlay, especially a white one. We're having a southern soul food. It's going to get stained and disgusting, like... Judy, it doesn't matter if it's getting stained. It's not our tablecloth. Yes, but it is your budget. Yeah, but I still don't think that we need it. So you want to go black on black? Yes. And so then maybe want... just paper napkins. Judy, we're not hillbillies. Like, don't you like the red? You said you like no, the red. No, I really like, the, like red, the red. But if the red comes in a paper napkin, I don't understand what the big deal is. The big deal is that it's tacky. Why don't we talk to Joanne about the price of all of this before we start taking everything away and putting it back? How much is it for the chair covers? The chair covers are $4 each. What about the napkins? They're a dollar each. What about the overlays? The overlays are $6 each. Are we gonna be keeping the centerpiece? Yes, keeping the centerpiece. 
I do like the centerpiece. Joanne, what are we looking at cost-wise for this? Centerpieces are $15 each. So we've got about $1,400, is that correct? Yes. Judy, we could keep everything because it's all under our budget. But it's not about the budget. Like... <laughs> Since when has it not been about the budget? Because with this, it's about my style. I completely understand that sashes, bows, that's not your thing. And the overlay. And the overlay. Are you okay with that? We still have the chair covers. Sure. We're gonna keep cloth napkins, right? Yes, we'll keep the cloth napkins. Okay, then that's, our, that's budget. our budget. Then we're done. I think this is a great compromise. Perfect. And we've just saved $183. So I think this was a successful meeting. We went garage sailing just to see what we can find that would maybe be cool for the wedding just to kind of use as decorations. A chandelier. Oh, and you? You found stuff. There you go. Yes, Hi. I did. It was great. Just put it down and open the door. You wanted it. When Johnny refused to help me with the chandelier, I figured, you know what? Girl power. I can totally do it without him. Did you even know what it's supposed to look like? On the box. That's our point of reference. OK. Is this candles or is this? Candles. It's going to be a light here. Be for light. Oh, OK. It's only the one. Oh, OK. This doesn't sound like it was such a bright idea after all. There's no plug. Yeah, but we just... No, like it doesn't okay. plug into the wall. Like you want this hanging from the ceiling, right? Yeah. So we need this wired into the barn. Like it's gonna have to be wired by an electrician. That's dangerous. Yeah, but calling someone is gonna be like an extra 150 minimum. Hang on, hang on. Where are you going? I'll be right back. I can't do it. Okay. Stay straight. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Who's that? That um, was an electrician. It's going to cost us $250 to get him out there. That brings your $50 chandelier to $300. Perhaps we can explore some other options. Uh, There's got to be something else, Jude. There's got to be. I know you wanted to do it because I know you told Johnny you would. No, but now Johnny's going to freak out and he's going to be like, oh, I told you I was right. Did he know that there was no plug? He'll say he did. There's no instructions. It was doomed from the beginning. Better this idea goes up in smoke rather than the barn. What are we going to do with this? I don't know. Put it up in the house. Sell it Sell in the garage sale. <laughs> why Johnny's tartan was so difficult to find. You can't blame that on me. I, I can't change my last name. You can't change history. It's tough to find. It's tough to find. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, Margaret. I'm Johnny. Johnny, pleased to meet you, Johnny. Hi. I'm wondering if uh, we spoke on the phone earlier about the tartan. Have you found my tartan? I did. Because your uh, family name is a special name, not very popular. Yeah. The tartan is not a common tartan, so it had to be a special weave. The minimum order for a special weave is 10 metres, and it's $148 a metre. Let's hope this cloth doesn't leave your budget in tatters. And does that include everything, the make, the... I'm afraid yeah. not, no. No. Not. Not. It yep. does not. Yeah. OK, how much everything. does that cost? OK, your kill's all hands sewn, so you're $350. $1,830, Johnny? No. Eighteen hundred and thirty dollars is not bad. Wedding dresses go for like five grand. Eighteen hundred and thirty dollars, Johnny. That's only for your kilt. That's not even your shoes and your sporin and your shirt and everything else. My dress didn't even come close to that. We can rent the rest of it. I, I'm going to wear the kilt over and over again. You're only going to wear the dress once. One would hope. We don't have that money. We have that money. We'll cut it out of something else. Your family tartan that I've never heard you talk about until we started talking about marriage. So that doesn't matter. So I've never had one before. We're starting the tradition now. Let's not make debt a tradition as well, Johnny. 1800 is not bad. Not and, and bad. Then it's, and then it's my family. Mom, you want me to get married in our family tartan, right? You're getting into big, big money. See? But the, it's fine. The good news I have for you is you're set. 
goes it? underneath another name, which means the fabric is readily available. So we have another option. But so what's a sept? The sept is um, the sept of a clan, means like you go underneath the umbrella of your surname. So you're still entitled to wear the other tartan. Right. Which um, I have a sample for you. Okay. So this is your option number one, the expensive one. So that's my family tartan. So tartan-y. that's your family tartan. Okay. But this is also your family tartan. That's completely different. It doesn't even look anything like the other one. Yeah, it's just that's tartans and clans and Scottish history mm. and so forth. No, that's, that's not my tartan. <laughs> this is my tartan. This is the one we're going to get. No, she's saying that this is also your this tartan. This is also your tartan. You're not doing anything wrong by wearing this tartan. What is the difference between the costs of these two? To do this kilt from the cloth and to make the kilt, you're $800. That's a thousand dollars savings. I don't. I don't care. This is not mine. This is my family tartan. This is somebody else's family no, tartan. No, it's still your she's tartan. saying this is still your one. family's kilt. Yeah. This is just your grandfather's instead of your dad's. It, that's the way to look at it. I'm getting. Like, uh, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Thanks. Since this one is more common, mm -hmm. is it possible to rent? Unfortunately, no. Well, I'm no. not renting a kilt. Well, she just said no anyway. $800 cut and made. Yep. Plus everything else. The whole thing. Okay. You're getting your way. Okay? Fine. Okay, then. We'll get, we'll get the head clan kilt. It's cheaper that way. Then we can get you measured. Like? Like. <laughs> Does it come yeah. any shorter? <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> Coming up. When you do the math, I can that hear has got to be at least, at We least all know I don't do the math. Price. Uh, Alexander's mother is a bit of a passionate person, and she wanted to make it clear to me, I guess, to uh, take care of her daughter, and uh, and she did it in a very subtle way so no one else could see. And she she was holding my forearm, and she dug her whole like all five fingernails into my forearm, and uh, held held on tight, and it was uh, pretty excruciating. And I had to smile and <laughs> walking down the aisle. When firming up the plans for your ultimate wedding day, it's important for the bride and groom to see eye to eye. But it's not about the budget. Like... <laughs> Since when has it not been about the budget? And at the end of the show, we'll reveal how much Johnny's vision matched Judy's budget. When it came down to the food and wine being paired together, I wanted everything to be perfect. It was really important that the food and the wine complemented each other. Yeah, but we had southern food, so beer would have gone just as well. Everybody, this is Matt from the winery. Hi, Matt. It's great to meet you. I think I've got some great wines that are going to go with each of these dishes. Thinking a medium to full-bodied red wine is probably the best way to go. What is the price of this particular bottle? Uh, this Shiraz is $13.95 a bottle. Okay. That's okay, that's, 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 okay. that's excellent. Here you go, honey. That's great. I also have another red wine if you wanted to try it as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, this is a Meritage. It's our top of the line red. Very well balanced. Very elegant wine. But what's the price? Uh, $34.95. Wow. $34.95 is a good difference. That is a huge jump. Are you prepared to pay almost $35 a bottle? I would pay $40 a bottle if it's the right wine to go with the right food. But will it go with your choice of bride? I haven't decided what we're going yet. All right? You we haven't, haven't decided? Deci we have not decided what wine we're going with yet. OK, guys, I'm going to uh, let you enjoy your food and enjoy the wine. And I'll come around with the new wines for the next course. Beautiful. Thank you, Matt. So Thank, Thank you, Matt. Next course of arguing, that is. When you have food that's got a little bit of spice to it, it's quite often a good idea to balance that off with just a hint of sweetness. So okay. Okay, Matt, hold on. <laughs> What's the price of this bottle? Uh, $13.95 a bottle. Excellent. Oh, that I can handle. There we go. Okay, cheers. Cheers. To the white wine. Let's try the next one. Okay. So this will be a bit of a contrast for you guys, but I think okay. this will also work well. This is a 2006 Reserve Chardonnay. This wine is 1995. So now, again, we're down to there is a difference. We have 1395 to, you uh -huh. said it was 1995? Yes. 1995. There is a difference mm -hmm. there. Now you've tasted these two wines uh -huh. with the food. Uh -huh. Which one would you pick? I would go with the second bottle of wine that we had. Not because of the expense. It could have been the same price as each. What about the red? Big surprise. It's got to be the $35 bottle of wine. It's me. Uh, 
I understand it is that a, it was amazing. It's it a was far superior really wine. Good. It yeah, went it way was better with the food. definitely good, and it was definitely something that was great, but absolutely not. When you do the math, I can't that has got to be at least, at We least all know I don't do the math. Price. But that's a $20 difference. I can't hear you. You do realize by going with the more expensive wine, we're looking at like almost $630, uh-huh. as opposed to $287. So? No, not just so. Yeah, it is just no. so. It's a better wine, it goes better with the food, let's do it. No, we can't just do it. That's uh-huh. pretty, pretty solid price jump when she breaks it down. Like yeah, that. thank you. <clears throat> I will go with wine if it's the cheaper of both. So the thirteen ninety five no, no, no. and the fifteen ninety five. I will go with a cheaper red for the more expensive white. I can handle that. Okay. Come on, Cheers. guys! Cheers! <laughs> My gosh! Like a decision was made on the wine. <laughs> I was really happy that Judy was very receptive about meeting our wedding photographer at a motocross track. What are we what doing up, here? Good to see you. Same here. Oh, thanks. Not too bad. Nice. How are you doing? Our How are you doing? Heidi, Rick, Judy, Rick, Heidi? Johnny, Great nice Rick. to meet you. I'm just a little Judy? confused, nice a little you. puzzled. Johnny, how's nice it going, buddy? Why are we here? To see the photographer. He takes pictures. Of You're sports. a wedding photographer? I do, I do. So I'm presuming you have stuff, like you have a portfolio you could show us, because yep. at this point, I'm a little nervous. Are you a little nervous? I mean, I'm freaked out. No offense, but. None taken. So can we see some of your stuff then? Definitely. Would that be possible? Just go to the back of the truck and I'll Please get an tell album. tell me I don't have to get on a bike to go look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the first time I've ever looked at a portfolio in the back of a truck. <laughs> this is my most nice. recent album. And take wow. a look and let me know what you think. Honestly, oh, that's amazing. Though, this, this Thank is... you. <gasps> Rick. Oh, I feel so bad giving you a hard time. This is beautiful. <laughs> no, this is excellent. Well, we know you can definitely take photos. What type of cost oh, are we looking at, one. though? Leave it to Heidi to get down and dirty. My base packages started at about $1,500, and we can work anywhere up from there. What does this $1,500 get us, then? Yeah, what would the we get? $1,500 will get myself and another person shooting your wedding, and you will get the album, and we are there all day long. I think that's under budget. budget. That's under budget. Like, Happy. Don't say that word again, yeah. Johnny, though. No, Johnny. For the, Good. Like, we're <laughs> under. This is, this is you did perfect. Good. And I don't know about you, Judy, but I think the photos, like, your work is great. Thank Rick. you very much. So you're happy. Of course I'm happy. Yes. yes, I'm very happy. Good, because there's more. Why? No. Yeah. Stop. Yes. The best part. And we're done. And now we're going home. No, What's more? No. What's more? What's more? We're going to mount a camera on the Jeep <laughs> and go off-roading. Does off-roading mean off-budget? Off-road like wedding house? spectacular. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. What? No. Like on their wedding day? Yeah, yeah, there is no wedding day. time yep. for that. You love your Jeep. Yeah, um, but I'm you not going to go off-roading on your wedding day. Yeah. No! <laughs> you are beyond insane for me. Think Honestly, about it. like, well, this is very different. What is the cost of this? Rick? Uh, it's about an extra $500. No! 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 We're under budget, so it's only $200 over. That doesn't... You have some weird math going on in your head. Why do you always need to spend more? I don't get it. We were happy. Yeah, you were happy. We need to have more. We're like, oh, great, we have another picture of us kissing by a tree and some water. Or we have Damn us it. in a Jeep off-roading with dirt and mud. OK, so we're getting it? Yes, we're getting it. <laughs> Let's go. Rick, That's thank right. you so thank you. much. Guys. Thank you. Coming up. Well, that doesn't count out of the budget, then. The other 600 will come out of Judy's money, because she screwed that up. I saved up $3,500. And I think I spent $34.98 or something like that because I did not want to go over budget at all. Perfect planning. Perfect planning. I had everything down to the letter. When making decisions for your perfect wedding day, be sure to always stay focused on your spending. So you're happy? Of course I'm happy. Yes. yes, I'm very happy. Good, because there's more. Why? No. Yeah. Stop. Yes. The best part. And we're done. And now... We're going home. And at the end of the show, we'll expose whether Judy and Johnny were able to keep their budget picture perfect. 
We thought it'd be a great and cool idea to have shot glasses for the guest favors. They were gonna be laser etched with our names on them and the date of the wedding and it would say sociable because we're sociable and it's like an East Coast cheers kind of thing. Yeah, the shot glasses. The shot glasses. Hi. Hi, um, I'm here to pick up some shot glasses. Order 282. One moment. Okay. Oh, there's one. Oh, perfect. There's two. And three. Your total is $600 plus the government share. Okay, perfect. Well, can't we take a look at them? Oh, sure. Yeah, here, hang on. There we go. Take your pick. Okay, let's see. Okay, so... Jude, I can just send this. What? Uh, I don't understand what sockable means. No, oh, it's a sociable. Learn how to read. Um, sockable. Sock... Able. No, it's supposed to say sociable. No, it's Wallace well, made exactly what was sent to me. And then uh, we sent you back a proof, which you looked at, and said, go ahead. So I assumed it was either, I, you know, I thought this, the writing was strange, but I assumed it was either a foreign language or an inside joke. This is no laughing matter. Hang on a minute, let me just pull my sheet. Okay, this is the email I sent you. Hi, Judy, here you look at your glasses, it's okay. And there's and the proof right there. And it says sockable. It says sockable. <laughs> and you sent me back, said, hi, Bill, these look great. I'm getting so excited, thanks. I think Judy needs a different kind of glasses. Oh, my goodness. We etch what, what's approved. If I change it, well, then the customer doesn't like the change, and it's my mistake then, and it gets right. expensive. I think you need to do it over again, because Johnny's going to just have a fit about this. If you want to redo them, I can, I can work with you on it, but... Uh, I would have to, I would have to, it wouldn't be the whole $600, but it'd be a good portion of it. There's a lot of work involved. I think you should just pay the money and take a loss. Money that we don't have. Johnny has gone over on everything and getting these was, you know, stretching the budget. 600 bucks for a mistake? That's a lot of money for a mistake. So what are we gonna do? We're taking them? Yeah. And you're gonna tell Jonathan. I think we should phone him. Maybe I'll, want me to phone him? No, no. 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 You sure? No, don't bug him. Are you gonna phone him? I will talk to him at some point. Well, Judy, if you need a drink, at least now you have the shot glasses. 150 of them. Heidi had planned a meeting for Judy and I to get together, the three of us, and talk about the direction of the budget. Well, guys, I always like to bring my couples together kind of this halfway point to actually go through your entire budget and kind of see where we are, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, I just want to let you know that we are very good with the venue and the food. Now, granted, we did go over with the wine, but I think we're all happy and on the same page with that now. So, mm -hmm. and I think Johnny especially is very happy that we have the wine. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I want to talk about the chandelier and the DIY project. Judy, how's that coming along? That's mm. not going to happen. Why is this not going to happen? Mm -hmm. Johnny, why we... are you smirking so much? <laughs> <sighs> He's doing the I told you so. We realized that we're really going to need an electrician. $250 later. $250 for the electrician? Yeah. So $50 you already spent on the chandelier, and then it was gonna cost an additional $250, so $300. Okay, so we had a chandelier, we don't have a chandelier. What are we doing for lighting then? Ooh, I got something for that. Let me just go grab it. This well, is I'm a, glad to hear this. Are this you happy a, with this? Yeah, well, I'm fine with this. It, I knew we were going to have a problem with the chandeliers anyway, so mm -hmm. I'm very happy with this. It'll still mm -hmm. look good. What have you got? Oh, paper lanterns! Yeah. So, just nice and easy. They'll pop out. They come with plugs. How much is this lighting project costing? All together, we'll say, with the light bulbs, I think we spent about $130. $130, and that, but we still have to take into account that you did spend $50 on I the other not. light. Okay, Judy spent $50 on the other light. So $180 on lighting. We have gone over with the lighting. Yeah. Because it was supposed to just be the $50. But, I mean, this is fabulous. Okay? Mm-hmm. So we're, we're happy with the lighting. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Beautiful. I want to talk about the guest favors. How's that coming along, Judy? Uh, they are ordered and picked up, and we're good. We have them. You didn't tell uh, me they came in. Yeah, and it's not a big deal. Yeah, they no, look good. No, where are they? 
Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I'd love to see them. Go get them. Can we see them? Uh, yeah. Are you sure you want to just no, go no, into go what's get next? Them. Go get them. Go. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. There you go. Cool. Oh, they're they wonderful. Nice. Let me see them. Wow. Did you realize that this does not say sociable? It doesn't say sociable. Did you see that? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Took you guys a couple minutes to notice. It well, did you notice? Yes. Well, have you ordered more or did you call and complain or like what's going on? Who? I couldn't complain because I would be complaining to me. Did you honestly not check that? Did you not check the spelling? He stresses me out so much and he's on my back all the time. I just, I just How hit yes, that cost? looks great. 600. Well, we're gonna have to get them redone. No. What? We can't. Yeah, we can. It's gonna cost an extra $600 to get them done and I'm not paying that. Well, that doesn't count out of the budget then because. We mean no. it doesn't count out of the budget. Yes, we if have... you reorder. If, shot glasses. if we reorder, that's fine. That's the original no, 600 we'll spend. A... The other 600 will come out of Judy's money because she screwed that up. You can't give shot glasses that say so cable. I mean. Well, we'll just make it into one word it's soakable. We can consider changing them if we have room in the budget, but right now we don't have room in the budget. We wouldn't have to have room in the budget if you would have done it properly in the first place. He has a point, Judy. I think you're gonna have to reorder these. Yeah. Honestly, Judy, I mean, it's not good. It, this would not be good to give these at the wedding. But you can put them away because I'm not going to discuss this anymore. Okay. Okay, guys, um, we're definitely, uh, we've gone through everything, um, you know, we're kind of up on things, we're okay on things. At the end of the day, guys, uh, you're still getting married. Yep. Right? Yep. Bubba and I were at rugby practice one day and that's when I found out something very interesting about our friend Bubba. You can find ways to save money in very unusual places. How's the planning going anyways? Is that uh, killing you? Or uh, what? Judy booked the officiant. An officiant is $450 for a guy to show up. Oh, what? 20 minutes of work? <laughs> he shows up, he's like, hey, you cool? Hey, you cool? Sweet, make out. And he'll charge you like 450 bucks on that, seriously. I can probably help you out. I'm. Uh... I got ordained a few years ago to do a wedding. What? <laughs> yeah. I went, I went online. Oh, no, no, wait, no, wait a minute. <laughs> We've known each other for seven years, and this is the first time you tell me that you're ordained. It's about like, I guess. You'd be the last person I think would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got ordained online years ago. You're an internet priest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you don't have to worry about the cash. I'm already coming to the wedding, so. I do. I don't think Judy's going to be cool with that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think at first she's going to scoff, but if we talk to her about it, and for it. Well, as long as we mention, as long as we mention we're saving her 450 bucks off the yeah, bat. Yeah, exactly. She's, you know, Von Cheaperskate these days is under cut me on everything. Yeah. All right, let's book you in. All right, we'll do it. Cool. All right, I'll grab the ball. Back on the field. Uh, All right, no. see you later. <laughs> Back, to the the bar. Bar. Back to the bar. Back to the bar. All right. When Johnny told me that Bubba was, you know, ordained and could officiate the wedding, I was shocked. I had no idea that Bubba had this in him. Until you found out Bubba would do it for free. And then you were all for it. Well, yeah, but I was all for it because, like, for other reasons, too. Mm. I really wanted, I really liked the fact that he knew us and that he was really going to take the time to do something that was going to be special. Not <laughs> just something that was going to be, stop it, no, not for this part. Coming up. We got a problem. There's six guys in five shirts. They didn't put a shirt in my bag. My responsibilities were very simple for the money. Whatever she told me, I did. Well, his <laughs> responsibilities were just to show up 
And he did, he definitely did, because he was there waiting for me, and he was on time, and he was happy to be there. So I think that he totally did it. I mean, great job. When it comes to planning your wedding day, sometimes it can feel like a shot in the dark. I think you should just pay the money and take a loss. Money that we don't have. Johnny has gone over on everything, and Getting these was, you know, stretching the budget. And at the end of the show, we'll divulge whether or not Judy and Johnny's finances were stretched to the max. On the morning of the wedding, I thought everything was just uh, going really well until all of a sudden we heard Andrea throwing up in the bathroom. That kind of put a damper on the mood. Is she going to be okay? And now we have five bridesmaids. <laughs> She's moving. She's alive. The morning of the wedding for me was uh, a little different than yours. Uh, was up early with all the boys after packing a van and then being on site at about 10 o'clock in the morning and we had to set up everything. We had to set up the tables, we had to set up the lanterns. There was a lot of work to be done that day. No, that's electricity, that's to plug in. Mm. You have to tie it from here. You have to... No, you don't. Yes, you do. All right. The last thing I want is this falling on someone. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, watch that. <laughs> Johnny, this is not. What are you trying Can to do? Can we please just put it on there? I, I thought you were put, just putting it up here. Exactly. Put it there. Yes, Johnny. Hang the lamp before Heidi hangs you. Ta da! Favors, shot glasses, right there. Oh, the wrong ones. She has 600 spelt wrong. I know, what, the, but they're not here. These are the right ones. Where are the... We never got them fixed. Mm. Okay, so we're putting the wrong favors out? She wouldn't spend the money to get them fixed. You find the cheap one and you tell her that. that I've... I've spoken to her till I'm flat in the face. It's not gonna change. Shoot. Well, maybe with all that expensive wine, your guests won't notice. When I finally got to put my dress on, I was so excited. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop. Uh, I tried. You kind of... Did you have to yank from the wall? Is that tight enough? It's, t it's tight enough. Is it too if, tight? Well, if after the ceremony I have you loosen, loosen it, then that's okay. just something that oh, we can't get the buttons in then, sweetie. Okay, well, we'll have to figure <laughs> out something for that, too. I can't with you alone. That snapped on. We have a problem. There's six guys in five shirts. They didn't put a shirt in my bag. I can go shirtless. <laughs> I'll take one for the team. You're not going shirtless. Talk about giving the shirt off your back. They didn't put a shirt in my bag. You're the only one that didn't get one? Yeah. You have to go shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did I get one in my bag? Yeah. Are you wearing your black shirt? Well, I can, yeah. I'll just wear my pastoral shirt. And okay. Then... Okay. It'll match the kilt. It's like it'll yeah, be... that's fine then. Okay, so you do black shirt with a collar, I'll wear your shirt. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're good then. Okay. Hey, guys. Yo. Have you seen a bow tie? Let's hope Johnny doesn't lose his nerve, too. Yeah, a little bow tie. <laughs> Um, I take off Judy's garter, she takes off my gitch. I think you're good. Now it was time to get moving. Let's go! It's my wedding! So I picked up the programs that we're supposed to be giving out at the ceremony, and the bride's name is spelled wrong. The bride's name has no I. I just assumed I knew how to thing, spell my name. You have a thing name. against eyes. You have a thing against eyes. There are just too many eyes in my last name. So I took one out. We don't want anyone to see you yet, so yeah. ladies, you can go on up and line up. Okay, I'll take my dress. I mean, first. Yeah. In through your nose, out through your mouth. When I first saw Judy coming down the line, uh, I had to choke it back a bit. I was almost gonna cry, and then choked it back, thought about horrible things just to stop from crying in front of everybody. But she looked beautiful, dude, she looked great. Greeting friends and family, and welcome to this day of celebration. Johnny, 
I would ask you to take Judy's hand as you now both begin to recite the vows that you've created for each other. I, Judy, take you, Johnny, to be my husband. I, Judy, take you, Johnny, to be my husband. I, Johnny, take you, Judy, to be my wife. I, Johnny, take you, Judy, to be my wife. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. The circular shape of the wedding ring, since it is neither a beginning nor an end, was a symbol of an endless love and devotion. The endless strand of the Celtic knot that we find here on these rings was also a symbol of eternity, and it's a beautiful complement to the symbolism of the ring itself. Man, I am sweating up here. <laughs> the tartan that Brett is just presenting with Johnny will be draped over Judy, firstly showing the Crozier family welcoming Judy into the clan. By her wearing the sash, it will represent her love for the Crozier clan and her desire to be a part of that Crozier family. <laughs> I can't even write this stuff. Johnny, Judy, it's uh, the biggest honor in the entire world to be able to pronounce you both today husband and wife. So you may uh, give each other another little smooch there. And uh, for the first time this evening, it is my esteemed pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Johnny and Judy Crozier. Mm, congratulations. Coming up. There's no cake and there's no cupcakes yet and it's 20 after five. Where's Hope? Did you see her in the church? I didn't see her in the church. We did mix somebody up accidentally who pleaded not to have this flirt at her table and uh, because she flirted with her husband and this woman didn't speak to my mother for years later. <laughs> when it comes to weddings, some things are better left unsaid. So we're putting the wrong favors out? You find the cheap one and you tell her that. Better. I've. I've spoken to her till I'm flat in the face. It's not going to change. Soon, we'll reveal just how much Judy and Johnny's budget changed to make their wedding day perfect. There's no cake and there's no cupcakes yet, and it's 20 it? after 5. <laughs> Where's Hope? Did you see her in the church? I didn't see her in the church. Well, then she's just late. I mean, we have to think there's that huge festival happening and traffic and... Yeah, I'm sure that she's just running late. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Is Hope coming? Yeah, she's about 10 minutes away. Okay. She just, uh, her GPS was wrong. Beautiful, that's there. Cake's coming. What's going on? Okay, you guys go for your ride now. <laughs> Is there anything we can just maybe stick here so it doesn't go? You got tape? Chris, do you have tape? Mr. and Mrs. Johnny and Judy Crozier. <laughs> After our entrance into the hall, we did our first dance um, right away and it was it was really nice it was just you know five minutes where we got to just kind of hold each other and you know it felt like an hour the first dance is done cue the buffet today was great best winning it you could ever hope for a couple of hiccups throughout the day but everything went fine Everything was perfect, totally worth every single penny. I loved it. They may have loved the day, but will they share the same love for the bill? The original budget we handed to Heidi was $15,000. The cake and the cupcakes looked awesome on the stand with the turntable. Total cost, $270. The guests love picking their own music on the jukebox. Cost, $600. I loved my gown and it was only $800.
Our photographer was great. He got wedding shots and sport slash wedding shots, including the package with the camera attached to the front of the car, $2,000. Heidi was an awesome wedding planner. She was always there whenever I needed her. Her total fee, $2,000. The decor on the day of the wedding was beautiful, including the rock memorabilia, the linens, the lanterns. Total cost for the decor, $4,000. The barn was a perfect place to have the wedding. Food and alcohol included, $11,100. The miscellaneous costs, including guest favors, my kilt, and flair bartender, were $6,013. What we actually spent was $26,783. Which put us over by $11,783. Which isn't a lot of money. It's twice our budget. It was twice your budget. We're married now. It's all one budget. The record cake was cut, the action shots were recorded, and the booze juggled like their finances. The only question left is, did Judy spring for champagne? Or just sparkling wine? Such a lady. <laughs> what did we have? What did we have for dinner I at the wedding? I can't remember what the dinner was. <laughs> I remember it was kind of cold, wasn't it? Well, they served the head table last. The, you know, we had one problem. People kept uh, dying uh, the week before our wedding. So, uh, but other than that, it was okay. <laughs> I did get the guest list down a little. Yeah, yeah. Mark.